the events uh, that took place in Brussels today uh, at the airport and in the uh, metro system appear to be a continuation of the, uh, of the uh, ISIS assault on the West. Uh, whether these operations were planned in Raqqa, Syria, like the operation in Paris uh, in November uh, 2015, or whether they were simply inspired uh, by ISIS without any particular planning, uh, really is no longer uh, a relevant question. Uh, what's, uh, what's relevant is what the West is going to do about this, uh, whether or not the West is really, uh, is really going to defend itself. Uh, the President of the United States uh, long ago announced that his objective uh, was to uh, degrade and destroy ISIS. Uh, what we're seeing in Syria, uh, where ISIS is an imposed presence and where the city of Raqqa is its unofficial capital, is uh, a series of air operations, a series of Kurdish militia operations, some of which have uh, worked to good effect, but the point is that uh, ISIS continues to survive. And uh, this survival is a, is a, is a problem. Uh, time is not on the, uh, on the side of the West. Uh, one of the recommendations that we've been working on here at the Atlantic Council uh, for the better part of a year is that the United States take the lead in putting together a coalition of the willing ground combat component uh, to go into eastern Syria, close with, and kill ISIS.